Hey, Apostles family. Um, I just have two announcements for us just to keep in mind. Next Wednesday, April 29th, we are calling for a corporate fast, a day of prayer and fasting. We've been talking about fasting a little bit throughout this season in a way that can help make this a fruitful dormancy, a, a way in which our lives are hidden, they, that it can actually be very fruitful when we do things like prayer and fasting. So on Wednesday, April 29th, we want to call you to participate in this corporate fast where we will be praying to uproot our hearts. So we are watching the, the kingdoms of this world be very fragile. We're seeing how fragile they are and all the promises that they promise us of, of absolute freedom and absolute control of our lives. We wanna uproot our hearts and in, in ways that it's been rooted in those kingdoms, we wanna uproot our hearts and pray and fast so that our hearts would be rooted in the kingdom of God and all of his promises that we might be more fruitful Christians because of that. So next Wednesday, April 29th, we're going to call for a fast and you can participate in maybe skipping a meal if, if you're new to fasting um, or maybe skipping all of the meals in that day. Either way, when you skip your meal, use that time to pray. Don't just continue on in some other task and just go hungry. No, no, no. We're, we're meant to feel our hunger for God. And so use that time to pray or whenever you feel a hunger pang to to let that draw you to just a moment of prayer to ask that you would grow in your hunger for God. But we normally do a midday prayer. So um, at, mid at midday, at noon, you can participate in prayer. That'd be a great time to enter in and pray with other brothers and sisters. And we're actually adding another time of prayer during that day. We're going to actually meet at 7 a.m. as well. So during breakfast and lunch, instead of eating, we're going to gather together and pray. So I want to encourage you to consider participating in that. I think this would be a really fruitful time for our church to ask and long for God to do great things among us. Okay, the second announcement is that this Sunday, um, after the service is over, for about six or eight minutes, I want to give a quick lesson for our kids. So after the service is over, we'll wait about five minutes, and then we want to gather all the kids to the screen, and I'm going to give a quick lesson, a brief lesson, on uh, the Holy Spirit. So this will be really important for really young kids and really older kids on, on how understanding the Holy Spirit can be relevant for us, especially in this time. The kids in our community are so important. They're really important parts of our community. And so we want to address them directly and encourage them and give them a lot of hope in times of uncertainty or questions or sort of wondering what mom and dad are feeling like. And so we want to we want to help and, and encourage them. And so this Sunday after the service, for just a brief lesson, we want to just talk to them and encourage them and then give them some ways in which the Holy Spirit can be active in their life and they can participate in what the Spirit is doing as well. All right, friends, that's it. This Sunday, um, we're, we're going to be looking at John 12 in our sermon series. So be prayerful and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you.